Hi, I'm Winnie from Vintage Heirloom and in today's video we'll be looking at a great example of a super fake vintage Chanel bag. Here I have two caviar tote style bags. Can you guess which one's the real one and which one's the fake bag? You know, this is even a hard one for a Chanel expert because they both look really great, but I can confirm it's the one on the left here. This is a super fake Chanel bag. A super fake bag is a fake bag with real Chanel parts. Fortunately, these super fake bags itself are very rare and it's not like the market is flooded with them. Um, with how, whoever made this bag took time and thought, thought to make a very good super fake bag. So let's look at the bags in detail. So both bags are made from caviar um, skin leather and it seems like even the fake bag is made from genuine fat caviar skin leather. It's pretty good. It feels durable. It has that nice sheen and it has the um, sort of mottled um, sort of bubble, uh, bubble effect um, leather that Chanel um, caviar skin is very well known for. So that is a plus sign. Uh, one thing that is a little bit of di uh, difference is the embroidered CC. On the authentic bag it's slightly thinner and on the fake bag it's slightly thicker but I mean to a Chanel novice if you just saw that bag you it, it is a very good copy. When I initially um, saw this fake bag one of the things that struck me was the sort of button style hardware you can see here. I know on genuine um, Chanel bags, the, sometimes the um, straps have a T-bar um, closure, whereas these sort of button style um, hardware, I've only ever, ever seen them on very small um, crossbody mini style bags. And the um, button style is not facing outwards, it's always facing inwards. So that struck me a bit odd. And if you look at the toggles, side by side. I do believe that on the fake bag, this is a genuine um, uh, vintage Chanel toggle. Um, it feels cold and heavy. It's got that, um, it's, it's gilded in 24 karat gold. And another way of finding out if this is the correct dog toggle is when you try and move it up and down, um, it doesn't move. On fake ones, they do go up and down. It's because on um, authentic Chanel bags, on the, especially from the 80s and 90s, the toggles um, are fixed internally to the leather strap, so it never ever, it's immovable basically. So that is the fake version, and this is the real version. I mean, side by side, there is a small um, size discrepancy, but I do believe this is a genuine part. Another thing that really struck me was the um, zipper pulls. Um, if you compare them side by side, on the authentic version, um, this is the uh, an authentic um, Lampo zip. Um, th they were um, often used on um, bags made from the 80s and 90s. Lampo zips are metal teeth zips, so and they're also quite expensive. These uh, zips to to um, to buy in. And how you can tell it's a Lampo zip, it has like a, a pear shaped zipper pull. And if you open it up and open on the reverse side, often um, there is an L um, Lampo logo or it may say Lampo. If we look at on the fake bag, it is a metal teeth um, zipper pull, but it's not Lampo, as you can see. And if we open it up and open on, look on the reverse side, there is no any, there's no hall marking. So I knew that wasn't the correct zipper for this style of bag. Let's take a look inside the bags. On the uh, authentic bag, um, if we look inside the lining, it's black. And if we look at the fake bag, it's burgundy. Um, however, vintage Chanel bags, they do have two types of lining. There is a black lining, there is a burgundy li lining. However, my suspicions rose when I saw the hot stamping on the fake bag. If we take a look at the hot stamping, um, the made in France 
the font size is completely different to what I what we, I normally associate uh, an authentic um, made in France stamping. First of all, it's the wrong font size, and also it's in lowercase. On an authentic version, um, the made in France should be uppercase. And just out of interest, um, on old vintage Chanel bags, um, made in France is usually just one sentence, whereas um, on um, for bags made in Italy, um, as you can see here on this uh, authentic version, the made in Italy is encased in an oval shape like this. And then if we look at the Chanel hot stamping and we compare it to the authentic version, um, the position of the R um, trademark is very, very far away from the actual Chanel. And also the Chanel, also the same again, the font size looks very different. If we look at the authentic version, the R is much closer. It's almost touching the L and it's the um, font size, this is the correct, correct font size. So um, if we also look at the internal zipper pulls, um, on the fake bag they have actually used a correct um, zipper pull um, that is often used uh, on genuine Chanel bags and it's the, um, this one has, um, I call it the triple C. Uh, other other uh, brands, there's Optin C and then there is Lampo and then there's this brand as well. Um, to, to see the other um, different types of zipper pulls, I suggest you to head over to our blog on our website. However, on the uh, gold pull tag, um, it, when I touch it, I feel like just this is just from experience. I know this is incorrect. Um, the shape is quite oval shaped and it's quite thick. And um, I just knew that this wasn't correct. This is not what often I feel for for a vintage Chanel uh, pull tab. If we compare it to the authentic version, the shape is circular and it's much thinner as well. This fake bag didn't come with a serial sticker or a Chanel authenticity card, which is not something I'm too worried about, as even on Chanel bags, sometimes the serial stickers and the authenticity card do go missing. This bag, um, this fake bag, came from a client who bought this from a reputable marketplace, which who allegedly have a authentication team. And it was her very first Chanel bag. And for the last couple of years, she really genuinely thought it was a real Chanel bag. And to be honest, this is actually a really good copy. And to the untrained eye, um, this could pass for a real Chanel bag. And it's a vintage style that is quite unusual and it's very sought after. So if I did know the, the, the information I know about vintage Chanel as I do now, I would have thought this was a real Chanel bag. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it very informative. Uh, please visit us on www.vintageheirloom.com for vintage Chanel finds and um, informative information and authentication. And follow us on Snapchat, Instagram and Pinterest for vintage Chanel inspiration. I'm Winnie and thank you for watching.